Uh, okay, now what do I do? Sometimes you feel like you don't know where to start with a project. You might feel like you know so little. You don't even know what questions to ask. Watch this video to find out what to do. In this video series, you are learning to build your own chatbot game. We're building a mafia or werewolf game inspired by the popular game Among Us. We'll be using the Python programming language, running our bot code in a service called REPL, and connecting to the popular chat service Discord. Make sure you press the subscribe button and click the bell so YouTube tells you about new videos in the series. Feeling overwhelmed or like you don't know where to start on a project is pretty normal. In the previous video, we created a Discord application and a bot user. The bot has no code yet, and one of the things we'll be doing in this video is to learn how Discord bots work. But there's a broader point that I hope you also take away. You're going to continue to encounter hard problems over and over again in your life, and you can get pretty far by adopting a few techniques. Number one. Don't reinvent the wheel. Everything you do in life is based on an entire body of work of the people that came before you. In software, people's prior inventions are often bundled up into little chunks of code called libraries. You aren't the first person to write a Discord bot, so try to find libraries that'll make this job easier. Number two, popularity is a useful signal. There's an old saying, nobody ever got fired for buying IBM. Go ahead, try typing it into Google. IBM used to be the biggest and most commonly used computer company, so it was a safe bet to buy their products. With software, there are a lot of benefits with going with what's popular. There's usually a bigger community of people to get help from, more people fixing bugs, and so on. It isn't always the right decision, but if you really don't know what you're doing yet, it's usually easy to figure out which projects are popular. Number 3. There is no magic. Here, we see some code for the Discord bot library that we naively picked just using its popularity. This code is Python code, which means that it will run in a single process on a single computer. What happens if our bot gets popular? You might get a nagging feeling that one Python program couldn't possibly keep up with all those Discord guilds. When you have a feeling like that, have confidence to listen to that voice in your head, the one that nags at you that something just doesn't quite seem right. Oftentimes that voice is right. Number four, you probably aren't the first person with this problem. The internet is a huge resource of all kinds of information. It's pretty often that someone has had almost the same problem as you before. Try to figure out what words you might use to search for the problem if you are already having it, and use those to see if you can find an answer. Number five, figure out the riskiest things in your project first. We can check to see if the library that we pick at least allows some way to solve this problem. We don't need to solve it now, because our bot is not popular yet. As you can see here, it looks like it probably does. Number 6. Get something working first. We probably haven't made all of the right decisions in this video. Some of them are probably pretty bad, but that's fine. The choice that we made for the software library may be the riskiest choice that we've made so far, because the library might have some other problems in it. But that's okay. Let's get something working at all first. Software is quick to change while there isn't very much of it. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell in order to stay tuned for the next video where we will try to run this minimal bot code for the first time. Thanks for watching and see you next time!